politicians, civic society groups and ordinary citizens, all gathered to give voice to their anger and frustration about rising costs. What the? Jesse, what happened to you? I got kicked out of school. All the detention started counting up. Got caught doing sugar in the bathroom as well. That's a pity to hear, Jesse. But I have a proposition for you. I'm listening. We should go into business. I can't cope with the price of living. And plus, you need free sugar. How'd you suggest we make money? I've been thinking about what could give more of a high than sugar. I was thinking we should add a caffeine and sugar into a fizzy drink. Is that safe, Mr. Black? Yeah, as long as you don't take too much. That's genius, Mr. Black. Who would have thought mixing sugar and caffeine into fizzy drinks would make money? I'm in. Meet me in my caravan tomorrow. Thank God you're here. It's 99% pure. Be careful. I can handle it. Oh my God. What have you taken? Hello? We need an ambulance. We have a big drug problem. We're missing chemistry equipment from the chemistry room, sugar and coffee from the teacher's room. There's cans of coke lying all over the field, and there's bags of super sugar lying around the school. There's only one person who could possibly have the resources and access to these items, and that man is Walter Black. Let's go get him. prime suspect for dealing super sugar to the kids in the school. What was your reasoning? The cost of living. I've not seen the prices. He does have a point there. It's been all over the news. Fair enough he has a point. But you're a teacher. You shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be giving students super sugar that could possibly be bad for their health. Who is your main benefactor? Tell me now. Big Mo. Big Mo. Who's, Who's that? that? 